So I know a lot of you have started following me because of my Obsidian content, because you liked it, because I was talking about Obsidian and that was something you were interested in. And now I have changed to craft. And if a few people ask, no one's you know been annoyed. And honestly, I wouldn't care if you were. But I've had a few people ask why I changed to craft. So that's what today is. I'm going to just talk about the big reasons that I changed to craft and the things that I miss from uh, Obsidian that just craft doesn't have yet. But before I do that, as usual, a couple ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare. Go to Skillshare, take one of my courses there. They're actually all linked below. So you can go below and find my courses. Uh, Zettelkasten is probably the one that is most interesting to you. And I think I'm going to be working on one next about reading uh, based on how to read a book, which you can see over my shoulder. That's it. Dive in why I am now using Craft instead of Obsidian. Now, as many of you already guessed, the biggest reason is that I do a lot of my reading and research on iPad. So even though we're not actually going to be on my iPad for this video, because I'm going to show you a bit of Obsidian at the same time, um, that's the biggest reason. That's Obsidian doesn't have a native iPad app. Uh, I had to use OneWriter, which was passable, but not stellar. Uh, it was just passable, I would say. Um, yeah, passable, but not stellar. So I just couldn't do it anymore because I do most of my uh, reading and research uh, writing at my iPad. Uh, this is, I'm actually facing my Mac. I have a new desk. So my iPad is, has its own separate workstation that can say permanently set up over here, which is all cluttered from just sitting on my camera. But anyway, and then I can actually work specifically on my iPad. And Obsidian just doesn't do it. And even the application that they've talked about bringing to iPad, it sounds more like a viewer app. It's a companion app. It's what Devin think was for a long time or what, what a lot of apps are. They just shortchange the iPad. Um, and I know companies have to do this, right? I'm a developer by trade. I know you have to prioritize where people are, where you're going to see the most bang for your buck. But I use my iPad, so I need an iPad app. And it just wasn't coming. Things I don't care about that didn't factor into my decision at all is like the beauty, air quotes of craft. I don't care about that. I don't care that it does like pretty pages and like sub pages, stuff like that. Now, the only feature I really loved, and we can actually turn to this, um, I showed that off in just a recent video. Um, but if we're looking at my courses one, and if I look at all these, these are sub pages, but you'll notice they don't actually come up. So when I quit, Go back to my courses, there's just one main course here. There's no other pages in here. So I do like that part. That's nice, but it's not a must have. I could deal with, you know, looking at my courses folder and having a whole bunch or having like all my course notes in another folder. That would be fine as well. Um, right? It was nice to be able to do this organization and, and have it like this with like a sub page with my script and then just work on the script um, by itself and have a, I did it on my iPad, opened it in a second window and just really focus on the script while I jumped around with different resources on my iPad. Um, but that doesn't matter to me. Like drag and drop pretty images don't matter to me. Um, I did like, what was it? Um, I'm trying to think of the name of course, Contagen. Uh, the rules of Contagen is the name of the book. So I did like that on my iPad, I could literally just draw this graph out and that was nice. Um, just pulled the pencil off and drew it out as I was going. And then I could actually think about it and remember it. That was nice, but again, not a must have. I could have done without all that because I could have just drawn it on my iPad and embedded an image. And that would have been just fine. But it just kept coming back to the, the fighting the iPad stuff. Um, and that's it. Now, there are some things that I absolutely miss in Obsidian. Things that are very cool. First off, I miss... Uh, Tags as status. So if I look it up uh, over here, say scratch, right? I can have writing creativity. If I want to say this is a to read book, I could start to read. And now this is a status. Obsidian or craft does not have statuses yet. You can see um, I have a folder here that says books to read. And that's how I have to do it. I have to have folders there instead of just being able to tag as a status. Kind of coupled with that is compound searching, which we don't have. Uh, so I can do that in, if I go to my tag pane, I can hold, I think it's option. Yeah, to read and I go back and say option sexism. All right, so let's do it again. I can just go tag to pound to read. 
read, right? So now I'm looking at only books that are sexism and to read. That's nice. And you can do that type of filtering in your graph view as well. All right, tag to read, tag, uh, tag sexism. I should be able to see just down to, let's hide my sidebar now. Collapse sidebar and I'm down to just the to read stuff, right? The few books that get in there, which is nice. I like that. And craft doesn't have that. It's search box. If I searched uh, to read, it's going to find a tag. And you can see I've got some like references of to read in here, but not even all of them. And it's overall search, it's better. It used to only be the top 10 uh, items. It's better, but it is not as good as it could be. It's just, it, they need more. I'd love to be able to hit enter now to read and not just go to the first note that it selected. I would love to hit enter and just go to really um, like a full, a full page with all of the results I could have. And I found that even in my course in Zettelcast, I had to search four or five different ways to really get at the data I wanted out of it. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, there's no way. This is dumb. So if I go into fossil fuel, so in my inbox, I did some reading earlier and I haven't organized it yet. If I go to fossil fuel, and how do I move this to a new folder? That's the thing you can't. So if you're like deep down in, say, in my notes list and I'm edited, and I'm on some note way down here, I need to move it to somewhere else. I can't really. Uh, and I found the best way, unfortunately, is to like edit the note. So this is a quote. I guess it's a status tag, it's a thing. And now I can actually go back up to all documents and it's sorted to the top because I have my default sorting is by time edited, which is a workaround and a bad one. I, I want to be able to move from here, from the menu somewhere, be able to move this to something else. And I can't. And then finally, I, I love how Obsidian does its window splitting. I just, I love it, that's it. Uh, so if I wanted to go into a uh, expand, let's grab a open it, open that note, and then I can split vertically. I could split uh, horizontally as well. I love that because this really, really like Vim, how Vim works. And I love that. And now I admit, like I'm totally a Vim nerd. This is the programmer and me really liking this feature. And you may never want it, you may never use it, uh, but I really like that. Now, Craft does have, I can go Shift Command N, open a new window, and on an iPad that I would actually open it side by side like this. Um, I do like that, but then like if I wanna do another one, I gotta Shift Command N, I have to sort the window again, I have to do, oh, I don't know, we'll say like this, quick layout. There we go. I don't even know what that did. Oh, it's way down here, that's dumb. <laughs> so that's too clearly not going to work. I haven't actually used the features of um, this window manager like that before. So I don't love how it splits. I'd love to have more. I'd love to have like, if I go to you of today and then you are awesome, you can see I have them both open in tabs, but I'd like to have them split down the sides or some other way where I could really dig into the splits and the notes and have them side by side easier, easier. Although again, that's maybe just the Vim there to me talking. That's it. That's really why I changed mainly the iPad app. And there are some limitations on um, craft, specifically, which I've already detailed, the searching. Uh, I actually don't care about the graph. The graph seems like productivity porn in some way. Uh, seems like the stats on my site. I never did anything with them, so I stopped using them. I have no stats on my site because I never used it. It was a vanity metric. And the graph feels to me like a bit of a vanity metric. I never used it, despite thinking it looks super cool, because it does, All right, especially if we go like this. And see my whole graph and whoa, look at all this stuff in here. Uh, right, I say books on race, why well, I'm no longer talking to white people and a bunch of the other things that came off that book. But it felt like a vanity metric. I never dove in here and was looked at it and said, oh, there's all this new information because I looked at the graph. The best it did was say, I don't have a lot of connections um, out of books on race to other things. And that's the best it did. It showed me that I had kind of a hole in my knowledge. There was some, you know, this right off by itself, books on transgender stuff like... So there's a few other things over here, but I don't have a lot in that. That's the best it ever did for me, um, which isn't necessarily bad, but it just didn't seem like it had enough value in that for me to stick with Obsidian. And that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Link below. 
or you can take one of my courses like my Getting Started with Zettel Casting course on Skillshare, which you can find a link below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.